so for writing formulas of the complex compounds or coordination compounds we need to follow uh, the rules mentioned here so at first we need to identify the cationic and anionic part and we'll have to write the cationic part part first and then the anionic part and then within the complex we need to start with the central metal atom and then we have to write the ligands and if we have um, one ligand in multiple number then we have to write down the number of ligands as subscript outside a round bracket and putting the ligand name within this bracket and then we need to uh, put a square bracket around the whole complex and uh, later you have to calculate the net charge on the complex and if it is not a compound and if the complex has any charge then you have to put the charge outside the square bracket as a superscript and in case of compounds the net charge will be zero so you'll have to make sure that the net charge on your compound is zero and for writing the name of a complex compound we have to start uh, with the with the with the prefix to indicate uh, to indicate the number of ligands like um, um, by like di tri tetra or bis tris tetra case for complex ligands and then we then we have to write the name of the ligand and if we have multiple type of ligands then we'll have to arrange them in alphabetical order and then finally we have to finish the name of the complex writing the name of the central metal atom followed by its charge as a roman numeral within a round bracket and in case of compounds we'll have to write the uh, cationic part first and then the anionic part and in case of an anionic complex we have to add an eight at the end of the name of a central metal atom for example uh, for iron it will be uh, uh, ferrate instead of iron chromate instead of chromium manganate instead of magnet instead of manganese and so on so now let's have a look at the problems here given here so for part a we are given a com complex ion with four water molecules and two o and o ions connected to an iron three ion so our uh, central metal atom here is iron for writing the formula we have to start with the central metal atom and then we have to put our four uh, water molecule inside a round bracket and we put the number of water molecule as superscript or subscript and then we have to put the o and o which is the nitrito group we have two of them and then we just put a uh, square bracket outside it and uh, now we have to calculate the net charge so water is a neutral molecule it has zero charge our ono group has um our ono group has negative two charge and our iron here is uh since it's a, a three iron it, it has a plus three charge so net charge is uh plus one so we have to put a plus as a super skip outside the square bracket now we have to name this uh, formula so for naming we have to start with the ligands in alphabetical order so for water we use the name aqua and this is our nitrito group so uh, in alphabetical order our aqua will come first we have four water so we'll have tetra aqua tetra aqua then we have um uh, two nitrito group that means di nitrito and then we have to put our uh, central metal atom which is iron and iron has a three charge here so we'll have to put three in roman numeral in a round bracket so this is our name for the formula here 
Now for part B, uh, we are given um, a coordination compound with um, made of two complex ion. In the one complex, uh, we have vanadium three ion with two ethylene diamine molecules and two chloride ions as ligands. So we uh, start with our central metal atom, vanadium. Then we have our ethylene diamine, two of them. And then we have our chloride, two of them. And then we put a um, square bracket outside it. Then we start writing our um, second part or the anionic part where we have um, we have one nickel and it said that its coordination number is four and the ligand is chloride. That means that uh, four chlorides are uh, bound to the central metal atom nickel. So we have NiCl4 here. So this is our formula, but we have to make sure that uh, the net charge is zero here. So uh, ethylene diamine. Um, so first we have the vanadium, which is of um, plus three charge. And then the ethylene diamine, it's a neutral molecule, zero charge. And for two chloride, we have minus two charge. So overall here we have plus one charge. And here uh, the nickel is plus, um, the nickel is plus two and um, the chloride has minus four. So in total, the charge here is minus two. So we have plus one here. We have uh, plus one minus two. That means we need to multiply it by two to neutralize the charge. In that case, we have to put a two outside the square bracket of this cationic complex. So that is our formula for this complex. Now let's name it. Um, so while naming it, we have to start with this cationic part. And for this, we have to start with um, the ligand names. So uh, one ligand is ethylene diamine and another one is um, chloride. So the in alphabetical order, chloride will come first. We have two chloride. That means we'll have to write dichloro. Then we have two ethylene diamine. So since ethylene, in the name of ethylene diamine, we have on one di already. So in that case, we will not um, write it as diethylene diamine. Instead of using di, we will use bis, which is actually used for this kind of complexes. We'll write bis ethylene diamine. And then we have uh, our vanadium. as the central metal atom, which has a, a charge of three. And then I'm writing the rest of the anionic part in the second row. So here uh, in the anionic part, we have four chlorides. So we write tetrachloro. Tetrachloro. And uh, so as we said in the rules that uh, for the central metal atom in an anionic complex, we need to add eight at the end. So our um, central metal atom name will be nickel eight. Nickel eight, and it has charge two, so two at the end. So this name is not separated. We just, this is um, one name altogether. First our cationic part and then anionic part.